where, where do you feel like uh, you've improved the most as, as you kind of head into the spring and throughout the off season? Um, I think I've improved the most in like my leadership skills, you know, like, cause we got a lot of young guys coming in cause it's spring. So it's late. And I feel like I've been a better leader uh, on and off the field. And I've definitely grown in that area in that aspect of football. Yeah. How, how needed is that when you lose guys like Drew and, and Wyatt from last year's defensive line? Uh, it's definitely needed. I mean, I had to step up cause you know, I was kind of like in the middle like the middle leadership and I had to step up and play a bigger role in the leadership and like taking young guys, not even just in my position group, but on the whole team and helping them through it. Cause I mean, we've all been through it and uh, it's tough, but yeah, I had to step up and definitely losing like Wyatt and Drew on the D line. And I mean, more people have to step up and be leaders. Even just from a, from a football standpoint, like how, how daunting is it thinking about trying to replace those guys? How tough is it to, to replace what they left for you? I mean, those are those are pretty big shoes to fill, but we're going to fill them. I think I'm completely uh, certain we're going to fill those shoes. So. Appreciate it, Jalen. Thanks, man. Yep. Derek. Yeah, Jalen, uh, we've, we've heard a little bit about Timothy Horn at defensive tackle so far. He's your new transfer. Is his game similar to yours, or do you guys kind of play a different style of ball inside? Uh, I mean, I think we have some similar tendencies. I'd say. Yeah, and then you talked about the leadership stuff. Um, a lot of emphasis this offseason on, on culture. Did you did you feel like it needed to take a rapid improvement from last year, and has it happened yet? Can you ask that again? My bad, I couldn't really hear you. There, there's a lot of questions about the culture last year. How much do you guys think you've improved it so far this offseason? Uh, I've seen great strides in our culture, to be honest. I feel like we all, like as a whole team, have like actually took that to the heart, took it to the chest, and we realized that we had to be better. What's one more thing that you feel like you guys still have to accomplish this spring to consider it a success? Uh, I'd say technique as a whole unit, group, offense, defense, just working on our techniques. That's what springs for is cleaning up techniques. And I feel like we all got to get a little bit better every day with our technique. Thanks, man. Yep. Kels. What's the biggest fundamental coaches are preaching with you guys on the D line right now? Um, I don't know if this would definitely or be a fundamental, but we've been preaching aggressiveness off the ball, coming off the ball as hard as we can, and uh, being more physical. Has anybody caught your eye on the other side of the ball? Anybody really impressed on offense? Uh, to be honest, the whole offensive line, they definitely made huge strides as a group. Because, I mean, people wanted to say that they were young last year. But, I mean, that that's not really an excuse for them. And they just kept working. All right, cool. Thanks. Oh. Anything else? Go ahead, Karen. Jalen, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Great. Um, let me just ask you, like, what do you think the identity of this football team is? The first year you guys came out like gangbusters. Last year, it was COVID that was the gangbuster, and it was just keeping everybody on their heels. But as you head into a new season with some key veterans gone, but a couple veterans back, what do you think the identity of this team is? Uh, toughness. Toughness. I mean, we went through a lot with COVID and everything. I mean, that's not an excuse, but toughness definitely I feel like we handled diversity pretty well throughout the season and we just got to keep growing on that so what are your expectations then I mean have you guys talked about what you think is realistic what you can do um you know has that meeting happened well honestly anything's realistic I mean if you just put the work in we could do whatever we want and it just depends on if we're if everybody wants to do the same thing when a national championship that's just what we got to do everything's realistic I know we're still in the pandemic era, but are things closer to normal than before? Um, yeah, I mean, as a whole like world, I feel like it is, but I mean, here we're still doing the same stuff. We have our masks on whenever in the building, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's getting closer to normal here too. I mean, we're not as much worried about it. I mean, we're worried about COVID, but like we're not as much like how we were and we're just, playing football now. And with that, 
when you saw last year what COVID could do at the last minute, lose key people, um, maybe not have enough in certain, you know, um, areas. And then you saw with the basketball team, what a nightmare that turned out to be because different, you know, COVID play, uh, situations popped up. So is there a discussion on that on how better to handle it this year now that you know what you know? Uh, I mean, it's just next man up. If one person's out, the next man's got to be ready to do what they've got to do. And everybody's got to be prepared from one to five deep because you never know. Next week, you might lose five D tackles. And it's just is what it is right now. So I feel like we've just got to be better there. Next man up. And everybody's got to know that they can play at any given moment. The accountability, though, where, you know, you, you guys are saying, hey, you know, the sacrifice we have to make to play, um, you know, maybe we won't go to this party or maybe, you know, we'll kind of any of those kinds of discussions as a veteran leader that you are now? Uh, can you repeat the question? The TV is not, just, you know, that loud. The, Sorry. Just the safety measures. How did, you know, things that maybe you're talking to the younger guys about? Oh, yeah, definitely sacrifice. I mean, on the weekends, I mean, you know, college is, the it's college, but like on the weekends, we got to sacrifice. And then like during the weekday, you can't just go hang out with your girlfriend or all your friends and stuff. I mean, you're on a football team. It's, Everybody's got to sacrifice for the team because the team's bigger than one person.